welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams and I'm Tandra and today we're going to do a pick a pile tarot card reading based on the astrological sign of Virgo and this could be either for your sun, moon or rising sign and because not all Virgos is the same we actually have three different piles to choose from we have the Virgo sign, the Virgo written out or the Virgo constellation and we will have timestamps for the piles in the description I uh, will in a, here in a minute we will give you a little time to think on and meditate and take a deep breath and decide which pile is the one that you should listen to. You are welcome to watch more than one pile and more than one astrological sign if you'd like. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel that way you can be informed of any future videos that we will put out. And if you'd like to donate to the channel there will be a link in the description to PayPal and we will see you at the first reading. Okay, hello Virgo Pal 1 and welcome to your reading. And let's see what kind of messages we have for you today. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Oh goodness. The Ace of Wands. The Five of Wands. The King of Swords. He's been showing up a lot today. Healthy Lifestyle. Courage. The Nine of Wands, put that up there with those wands. The Seven of Cups, I'll put that up there with those. And the Three of Cups, okay, we'll move these down here, put that one up there. Wow, okay, let's get started on the different oracle cards here and see what we got. Healthy Lifestyle, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health that's always really good advice and courage Archangel Ariel be courageous and stand up for your beliefs okay and that is something that I kind of see here a little bit with the King of Swords here stand up for your beliefs stand up for what you believe in be the king be be the one to do that because the king has lots of ideas, swords especially, lots of things, and he believes in certain things. He has certain ideas, and he is willing to go out and fight for those things, and that's what you need to be willing to do. You know, don't don't let others hamper you or, or, or let that down because you have a lot of creative energy here. And I get the feeling that some of you are being very creative or wanting to be very creative right now and get into some creative endeavors and do those kinds of things. And and maybe somebody is not believing in you, but you believe in you because you need to. Because emotionally, you've got some great things coming up for that. But you have all this creative energy. Look at this wonderful Ace of Wands. It's planting the seeds. It's getting started. You've got all of that. You've got the five, which almost always means change and and those kinds of things but in it, it could just mean whatever you're super passionate about because i see a lot of passion going on in this this fight we've got dragons fighting and other stuff and then a lot of passions a lot of creative energy going on just a ton of it so be creative i mean look at here we've got the nine of wands he's creating a scarecrow to protect his his crops and things and and putting some wands around the scarecrow to help protect him and but he's being creative and thought you know that that was a creative idea if you think about it whoever came up with scarecrows in the first place you know that was creative Let, let's make something that kind of looks like a man so the crows will fly away and not eat the the crops that's that's kind of a creative idea and so you have a lot of creative energy going on and because of that emotionally i think if you follow those creative ideas out to their natural end and fight for your ideas fight for what you need to and, and what you believe in I think emotionally you could be great and that's also kind of going along with a healthy lifestyle too because if you eat 
a good diet and get plenty of sleep and exercise and whatnot, uh, emotionally, that should really help you be happy and helpful because if our bodies feel good, if we've had enough rest, emotionally, that's going to help us along the way. Emotionally, we're going to be good. And you have some really good emotional cards here. We have the Three of Cups. You know, look at that. They're watching, you know, their, their children here. And look, they're watching new life being born and 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 all that emotionally that is just a wonderful feeling and then we have the seven and i always kind of love this card here it, it shows up in a lot of readings lately but it just shows how happy and cheerful and carefree you can be um, and both of these have children in them i've noticed and so i think you need to pull in some youthful energy and your youthful you know Think youthful ideas. I don't care what age you are. You could be very, very old. But if you believe in your in yourself as being young and have that young energy at heart, follow it. Because there's no reason not to. And that's all part of following your beliefs again. But look at how happy and youthful that, that energy is. And then we have the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. The Ten, they have pretty much everything, you know, everything's coming up rainbows. Look at that. And they've got all the cups up in the air. They've got their children out here. They're holding each other. They've got everything emotionally that they need. Uh, and that is just something. It also deals with your intuition and your subconscious mind, too. And that goes along with your creativity. Follow your intuition. Follow whatever it is that is your heart desire, whatever it is that your heart is telling you. Follow that because emotionally that's what you need right now. That's going to be what's really good for you. You have the Knight of Cups here and he has his cup. He's coming back from war. He's getting ready to do a you know, get across this river here. And, you know, it, it, the Knights I see as warriors and as messengers and as bringing back the spoils of war so if you've gone through some emotional stuff and, and emotionally you know some battles here with with your creativity in your mind you're just maybe going back and forth in your mind if you've done that you know you've got the night coming back with the spoils of all of that and so emotionally and all i think Follow your heart, follow your intuition, follow your creativity. Do well in, in your healthy lifestyle. Don't let others drag you down. You know, fight for your beliefs if you need to. Bring on the King of Swords for that. Because you need to fight for what you want out of this life. You need to go get that. You need to fight for that. You need to do it because nobody else will do it for you. You've got to do it yourself. And... But if you do, emotionally, it will be f very fulfilling for you. So please, please, please follow your heart and your intuition and what you want. Fight for your beliefs. Okay, we've got an another deck here that we might be able to pull out another message or two. Might help clarify it for somebody. Let's see. Looks like we've got the star card, which, oh, that's so beautiful because... Follow your stars, follow your heart, you know, the stars are very emotional, intuitive kind of energy, and I always think, you know, you can wish upon a star, and you can, you know, wish upon a falling star sometimes, you can uh, go out to the star, you know, the star, going out to the stars, uh, you know, in science fiction or, or in science, you know, that's kind of man's last frontier, and that's something that's very creative, you know, to be able to follow that. See what's out there. Follow your dreams and your heart and your emotions. See what's out there. You can do it. And I really believe that that's something you all need to hear right now. Okay. I think that's all we have for Pile 1. And we look forward to seeing you in other readings. Bye-bye. Hello Virgo Pile 2 and welcome to your reading. Let's see what we've got message-wise for you today. Okay, we got the Two of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, Indigo and Crystal Children, Claire Cognizance, boy this reminds me of another reading I did, the Princess of Swords, the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. Okay. 
this is so much like another one I had. I, I think, I can't remember, I think it was Gemini. Um, it's very similar. Uh, and so maybe some of you, if you have Gemini in your chart strong, maybe you should look at that one too. But I, I see that there might be some partnership problems. But maybe not. Maybe some partnership coming together. Because, I mean, these guys are coming together in a hand fast and they're bringing their cups and, and all that but then these guys are kind of fighting and battling so it's very possible that you guys are in a partnership of some sort that usually is pretty good goes along pretty well but right now there's some strife and some fighting going on and some things like that and you've been kind of battling you might even be you know the ten of swords here that energy kind of makes me feel like you know you feel like you're being stabbed in the back or like you know you're battling to the end or to the finish and I just don't know I that that's some not I think we need to get away from some of that energy going on but you know it, it might be what's happening right now I wanna look at some of these over here um, and see how those might tie in okay so let's look at indigo and crystal children Archangel Metronon you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive so I feel like some of you people have some children in your life that are maybe feeling some of this battle. So maybe it's not you guys that are in the relationship that's battling. Maybe you know some children who are in a family that's maybe having some battles and some strife and some problems right now. And you can help them. And maybe emotionally they are just really, really having some issues. But they're also indigo and crystal children. So they're very, very special children. And you can help them. You can help connect with them and help them get through some of these battles that they might be going through. And then we got clear cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So pay attention to things, ideas that come into your head and, and other things like that because they're going to be useful to you. They're going to help you with this strife and these problems and, and these things that's going on. We even have the Four of Swords where she's preparing for a battle, it looks like. You know, she's lining up her sword. She's getting them together for a battle. And if you need to prepare for a battle, that's fine. That's great. You should do that. But you should also pay attention to whatever ideas come into your head to help with that because they're, they're, they're divine messages right now. Okay, and you might listen to children as well, not just help them, but they might be able to give you some ideas just by listening to them that might help you just know what, what needs to be done next. And so definitely do that. And then we have some wands cards. Um, well, one anyway. We have another swords energy, which, wow, we'll, we'll just have to talk about that in a minute. But we've got the nine of pentacles, which is creative energy a lot. Dealing, and it's very much intuition, which goes very much along with the claircognizance. Follow your intuition, what your mind's telling you to do, because you've got your wands cards here too, and we've got the seven of wands. Look, they're getting ready for this, this storm that's coming. They are putting up their sandbags, and they're doing what needs to be done uh, to help with that. They're, they're doing the work that needs to be done. And so if you guys have a battle coming or something that you need to fight through, um, it, you can do it. Okay, you've even got the Princess of Wands here. She's very worried. You know, she's sitting here. She's been waiting for a while for her knights to come back from battle. And she is worried about what is happening. And she is keeps on the lookout. And she's like, I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm here. And, you know, and, and I'll be here for them when they get back. Even though things look kind of bleak right now. You know, I think things will happen and and that's the energy you guys are in right now you guys are worrying about some battles you're fighting some battles you're getting prepared for some battles you just have those kinds of things going on but you also have the intuition and what you need to do to get through that and then if it's not you personally that's in the battles or getting prepared you might be working with some people that are going through that maybe some of you all are psychologists or psychiatrists and maybe a lot of the people you're dealing with have had some issues going on and some battles and anxieties and problems and you can help work through that 
Listen to the ideas that come into your head and help those people along. Okay, now we've also got some tarot, whoa, tarot cards here. And once again, another sword energy, and it's a knight of swords. So you have the knight. He can go out and battle for you. He can take care of this battle. You know, the princess is looking for her knights, and then here he is. He's right there. So even though you've got some battles and strifes and things and, and anxieties and worries and all kinds of stuff going on right now in your life, you've got what it takes to fight it off. You've got the battles that it takes. And some of you have what it takes with your partner. You're not battling with your partner. Use your partner to help get through these anxieties and these issues and these fights because some of you have the right partner that you need to help you get through some of this. And so I really feel like that's the case because this is a more of a positive energy and not so much the battle energy. And so we need to draw on that. You need to get your partner to help you with all this other energies that's going on because there are some battles, some fights, some heartaches, some anxieties, all this stuff going on either with you or people you know that you're dealing with. Okay, I think that's all we have for Pile 2 today and we look forward to seeing you in other readings. Bye-bye. Pile three, welcome to your reading, and let's see what kind of messages we have for you today. Ooh, the three of pentacles. <laughs> the wheel of the year. The four of wands. Oh my goodness. The queen of cups. Yes. The magician. Oh my goodness. Nurture. Breathe. The six of pentacles the High Priestess, and the Wheel again. Oh my goodness, wow. Ooh. All right, let's look at the Oracle cards first, see what they have to say. We got Nurture. Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Okay, and breathe. Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. Yeah, taking a deep breath several times is really good to clear out energies and stuff like that. And that is something that's always good to do. But I see so much in, um, <laughs> creative, intuitive energy going on here. And I really think you guys need to tap into your spiritual self, your, your spiritual gifts and awakenings, and, and the deep breaths will help you that. Nurture children, um, that will help you. You need that childlike energy because that energy will help make those things flow for you. But look, we've got the high priestess. She is basically all-knowing in spiritual matters. She, she knows pretty much everything there is to know. And she's there, so you've got it. It's there, it's in your heart, it's in your mind, it's in your soul, it's there. All you need to do is tap into it. And then you've got the magician, and once again, he's full of powerful energy. He can create anything he wants. He can manifest the things that he wants, and so can you. And it's definitely showing up here in the reading that you can do that, because emotionally, you got the Queen of Cups, and she is emotionally happy. She has everything she needs emotionally. You can manifest this for you. You can manifest your dreams and get what you want, earthly desires. Look, we've got the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Threes are a powerful energy. They're creative, very, very creative energy. And look, he's creating something. He's writing in his book. He's got his potions here. He's creating things. And you guys need to be creative. You guys need to pull in your intuitive energies, your your magical energies, and create something. Create something for the world. Uh, because look, we've got the Wheel of the Years here and the Wheel of Fortune. That is going to bring about your best abundance possible and your best fortune possible. And you have two of them, so it's double. That, that, you've got it. It is going to be there. And the Four of Wands is another very, very creative energy. And look, they, they've created something together. They've made this very stable, uh, very beautiful looking, going out into nature, uh, communing with nature kind of thing. And you guys need to do that. 
but you do that and you're going to pull in all these creative energies do something great for the world and for mankind and for children you know because if you nurture children they're the future that would be great for mankind pull in all of that wonderful energy from the universe all that wonderful magical energy that you have in you and use it to help others and use it for the world because that is where your heart is at right now that is what you want and when you do that the world will be at your fingertips everything will come what you need your, your earthly desires and look he's giving out to, to to children he's giving out some of his his wealth to children and you can do that you can and not necessarily monetary wealth although that's fine too but but your emotional wealth and whatever wealth you have your knowledge, your your wisdom, your your power, your magical energy, give that out to children. That's very, very, very important. And in turn, that will nurture you and that will give you what you need. Now, we've got a tarot deck here and we'll pull out one or two cards to see if there's any other, well, not a whole stack of cards. See if we can give it any other energies here, any other messages that you might need. To help you along in this journey oh you guys are awesome i just this energy is so cool you guys can manifest anything in the world uh that you want and you can help others so much with this energy i just it's it's just all right there and maybe there isn't any other messages maybe that's all you needed to hear let's see if there is one more or not another couple of shuffles and if none come out we won't worry about it oh there's one all right and the queen of wands the queen wands oh my gosh wands it's got the energy and the creativity and the passions and your spirit and it's the queen so she's she's on top of it all so it just goes along with all of this you guys are so full of passion and energy and creativity you guys have so much creative energy it's just bursting to get out i can just feel it just like overflowing and bubbling and you guys need to use that creativity in positive ways and and with children especially and that is just going to be awesome for you all i think that's all we have for pile three um give some comments if you have any um for it i hope you like the reading uh and we'll see you for any future readings bye